Hi everybody, I'm back again with a beading tutorial. I got a special request for um, how I do my bead dangles. And so I figured I, since I need some for an upcoming project, I would bring you along with me. So um, I have a selection of seed beads some uh, these are some of the glass pearls that I got from BB craft and I will link those below um, they're gonna be they have a good selection of colors in the in the um, pack that I got here um, and these blue and white and red ones are going to be fantastic for this. So, got those, and then I have some um, different uh, faceted beads, some fire polished. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have some fun. So, I went ahead. Oh, I also have these little these little guys from a. Uh, costume jewelry that I got at a thrift store that I want to incorporate. So we'll go ahead and just take the head pin off of this because we're going to use them in a different way. Turn my handles back on. Okay. So, first you want to take your head pin, um, you can get um, flat head pins, you can get the, um, let's see, you can get the little eyelet ones, or you can get the ones that have like a ball or um, like a decorative stopper. Um, for this I'm going to use some antique brass with a little ball stopper and so how I usually go about um, deciding what I'm going to do is I come up with my theme. In this case it's red, white, and blue. Um, and so I get my beads together various sizes, colors, all that stuff. And um, generally I start out with a smaller bead and then I kind of work my way up but it doesn't have to be like small, medium, large. You can do small, then medium, then small again, then large. But as it as long as it kind of gradually works its way up in size, that's kind of how I think about it and how I decide what I'm going to put in. So here I have a small faceted bead and then um, I want to do, I'll do a clear, well I don't really want to, the other thing you got to think about is contrast also. So this one's kind of a clear color faceted bead. So I kind of want to do something that's a little bit more opaque. So I've got this little kind of frosted one. I can do that and then I can do small again just to kind of add some interest. And then uh, kind of a more medium red. Maybe do another small. And then maybe I'll do a big pearl. Now I might find that there's too much if I want to replicate this up here, there might be too much here. 
So in that case, I'll take the white one off and see how I like that. And then I just want to kind of duplicate if I can. Um, which I might not be able to. So, <laughs> see it's a thought process. You kind of have to work your way through it. Um, I think what I might do is I've got two of these red pearl ones. Um, and since I'm doing pearl, I don't want to do pearl on pearl. So, I'll just do another faceted. And then take another pearl. Take another blue seed bead. And then the frosted white or clear. And then the blue of uh, blue faceted. So now this should be enough space for me to use my round nose pliers to get a little eyelet or loop. And sometimes you have to just finagle the wire a little bit so that you can get that loop close enough to the wire. Sometimes you gotta squeeze a little bit. Okay. So see how I have that loop is now closed and we have our first dangle. Um, in this case I'm going to go ahead and put a jump, small jump ring on because I don't know what I'm going to attach these to yet. If I'm going to use a ball pin or if I'm going to use a paper clip. Um, so, and I can always take this off. So, I'm going to try to bring my paper over here so that there's some contrast. And you can see what I'm doing. Um, so here I've got one side of the loop ring, or jump ring, and then the other side. I'm just pulling towards myself with my round nose pliers. So, you can see that? It's opened up. And we'll take our dangle and then close that back up. So then we got our jump ring. So, let's do another one. think I'm trying to decide I might have to pause it and get some darker darker head pins um, with the loops because I want to do some little charms at the bottom so hold on just a second okay found some. Made a bit of a mess while I was at it. <laughs> Alrighty, so, so I have these, already have the loops, and then I have these little drop beads that I wanted to incorporate. So with these I'm just gonna make a single charm out of them. So I have these, um, I don't know what you call them. They're, they just make a loop. So you just stick it in there and then, um, I have noticed sometimes it doesn't close the loop all the way so you gotta Use your pliers and 
close it. So I'll make a couple of those. String that on there. I kind of bend this back a little bit and that seems to make a better um, makes the loop a little more symmetrical sort of kind of There's that one, and then I had, I had a little white one. So I do that. And you can save save this wire because you can use it for other things. Um, you can make loops on both ends, um, and then just do shorter dangles with it. So. Just a way to kind of recycle or not waste what your waste your resources. I'm just gonna go ahead and bend that back a little bit, and then close the loop. Okay, so we have our little charms there. I'll put them on the back. I probably should get a bigger piece of paper. My dark mat is kind of not the best surface to use for this. So I'll go ahead and put those on there. So you can see that better. So there's our, our one there. And then we can start making these ones. So I think I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start with white seed bead on this one and then a larger faceted blue and then maybe a small faceted red and yeah, maybe not. actually have these blue and white ones. I need to get more of those out. That's kind of cool. I'll get a few more of those out. Those are fun. Just grab like six of them because I might want to use them on another design. Alright, so here, let's see. I'm kind of limited on my red. And the reds I do have are not all the same size. Or color. These are like almost. I have some that are like garnet red and they're almost black. So I don't. It's hard to tell which ones are black and which ones are red. So I'm kind of limited. 
that. I do a silver, or kind of clear. No, I don't really like that. Oh, we can do our faux freshwater pearls. That works. And then, so it, a lot of it is just trial and error. You know, figuring out what you like, um, what looks good, what you don't like. So here, I think I'll do like a large red one. And then I'll do another freshwater pearl. And I'm finding that it's probably going to be too too much bead so I can take all of take the first one I think I'm gonna take the first one off for seed bead and then it's just the faceted stripe pearl big faceted red stripe little guys not happy hang on just a second okay crisis averted all right so this is long enough that I can actually use our loop tool And then I'll just trim off a little bit at the very end. So, I'll go ahead and close this up again. Actually, strike that. We'll go ahead and put our, our um, charm in and I'm going to do the red one on this one. We got our dangle with the charm. Okay, so let's do another one. So I think with this one, we'll go ahead and try out the red faceted. And then... white pearl kind of a medium sized one and then I want to do these little sparkly blue ones that's cute and then I think this light blue kind of oval type one is kind of cool and it's enough contrast with the sparkly blue that I don't mind having the two same colors, you know, blue and blue. Um, if it were all the same kind of consist, like the the color was the same hue, then I would probably pick something else. But because it's dark on light, it gives it enough contrast. So then I'm just repeating the pattern here. And that's long enough to use our loop tool. do the clear one on this. So there we go. So then we got our 
second one with the charm. Let's do the big red pearl as the center. So I think I kind of want to do, let's see, let's do white and this kind of pretty bicone clear one. Yeah, that's enough contrast. I like that. Actually, strike that. I'm going to do another white one. I like that better. And then, let's see, add the other bicone. the blue charm. Oops, sorry. Just put that back a little bit. Sometimes you gotta finagle it a little bit. And then, let's see. It's getting dry. I need some more water. So I'm just trying to struggle in here a little bit. There we go. And then this one on the charm didn't get closed up enough, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So there's that one. It's pretty. And I actually had some an idea, so I'm going to do some smaller ones. Um, Just use some of these seed beads. And pearls. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the pearl for that one. And then the red. Is that too big? See? Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's longer than the pearls, so... I'm okay with that. And then another blue seed bead. Okay, so just closing this up a little bit. I actually saw um, Tracy's video today where she was inspired to do some keys and I can't remember who she said she saw do them first. <laughs> I'll try to find the video. If not Comment below, please. Um, so that credit can be given. 
where credit is due. So, okay. Strike this. Not the blue here. I'm gonna do clear and then blue pearl and then bright red. Then another blue pearl. And clear seam bead. So there we go. Okay. Hang on just a second. Okay. I had to make sure the TV was turned down. <laughs> and while I was at it, I went and got some keys and a few little more charms that I got off of. Um, I have these really cool um, costume jewelry bracelets. So I uh, just kind of steal from these every once in a while. And I thought I'd grab a few more pearls and some crystally dangles. So, um, what I was thinking of doing was adding some jump rings. And just kind of adding a few little... little things and then popping those on to the key. I gotta find my long nose pliers. Ooh. So there's that. That's kind of a cute little, cute little thing there. Gonna make sure this is closed up tight enough. So there's that, and then let's see for this one. Go ahead and put one of these again. Ooh. So just pop that on the jump ring. This one on there, and then I'll put the little key. Yeah, I think I'll do it on the side. The thing about putting it on the center part here, right here, but this will give it more space to kind of dangle around. Twist that back. So there's that one. So then we'll make a little, another little one. This one. Kind of gonna go with the red center, but that one's a kind of a bicon, so I'll do the red pearl. And then these clear ones are kind of the same size, so maybe do the blue ones. 
I don't know. Just don't seem quite right. I'm gonna start with the white. And then try the medium size or the small size. That's kind of too small. Try this. Oh, it's not bad. The widths are about the same, but because these are uh, the height is smaller, I don't mind it. So I shall keep it. Still that wire in there. Take that one out. my round nose. Okay, so then we'll do open that one up, put a jump ring on. Sometimes it's a flat nose pliers are better for this part. Pop that on and then pop our key on. Grab our other flat nose pliers. There we got that. So we have our little key dangles. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these, but it's just fun to make them. So, let's see. I have this one single red bicone. I have these. side could actually do like kind of a multi-layered one so yeah some smaller before when I was trying to pull um, the longer ones out I couldn't find them. <laughs> Kept getting the short ones and now I keep getting the long ones. <laughs> okay, so I could do just do the white and then Blue seed bead. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. I don't 
like the seed bead. where it gets tough. Freshwater pearls. Send the red. Gotta change your plan. I think I'll do do the crystal on the end or the the clear one. And then you know, I'm like all out of bed. <laughs> hmm. Wonder if we could have some fun with buttons. That might be cool. Try to dig through my buttons and find a few. rings are big enough. fun little charm. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't quite eat up. There we go. Okay, so we got our little button charms. And I don't have to use those ones. Might be fun to use some clear bicones and then that blue, big blue pearl. Like that. couple different journals that I'm doing so um, what I don't use on one I will probably use on the other so white and blue put that with this ones and we'll do another small one let's see kind of want to use these white ones been itching to use them they're cool blue clear ones try and decide if I want that's kind of cool kind of like an ombre effect so darker lighter light or white and then have the red button at the bottom it kind of pops kind of do this any way you want really whatever way works for you um, in terms of like your color choices and your patterns this particular project is for patriotic journals so red white and blue is the theme of the day It's about almost 45 minutes there. We've made quite a bit of progress on our dangles. In fact, I probably don't need any more at this point, which is nice. So we have our little, our little keys with the beta dangles. And then we have our button dangles. And then we have just kind of a regular one. No charm at the bottom. And then we have another small one. I might put this on another key. Let's see. So that we have, because this one's kind of a shorter one, I'm just going to put the shorter ones on the keys. Just 
go ahead and put that and a little pearl. Oh no. <laughs> 45 schmorty five. Just a dark blue one. Pardon my reach. Oh, it's kind of a cool thing. Might actually be too far down. Hmm. See, and it's just trial and error. You just see what looks good. Cool thing is, is you can always change it around. Let's see how that looks. Yep. You don't want the dangle to be too much longer than the the whole key, so. Sometimes putting it up higher is better. Alright, so now we got... Try it again. Show and tell again. The little keys. And then our little buttons. And then our little plain one without a charm and then our three charms oh lots of beating in about 50 minutes and several interruptions <laughs> all right everybody thanks for joining me and um, I hope I was able to teach you some stuff and if not I hope you enjoyed just watching me make stuff and uh god bless i'll see you all soon bye